more warm day before things really start to feel like fall here across the front range. It looks gorgeous out there now, partly cloudy skies, and we're really starting to see the leaves changing up in the high country. This is Vail, and you can really see the colors up there, and we're starting to see close to peak uh, colors here up through most of our northern and central mountains. As for our temperatures, one more warm day, and then we'll have 60s showing up by the time we get to Tuesday, and we'll also have chances for rain in the forecast as well as a cold front moves on in. Temperatures today were in the 80s, 85 degrees here in Denver, 80s across the plains. We had 60s and 70s for the higher elevations today, and our average afternoon high should only be about 72, so we're way above that our, with our high today of 85. Now 90 is the record set back in 1892. As for our temperature outside, it's 81 downtown, 85 at the airport, and our winds out of the south at 16 miles an hour. Now those winds really picked up today as we went into the afternoon. 30, 30 mile an hour winds at DIA right now, 39 for Burlington and 38 for Lyman. So throughout this corridor here across the eastern plains, 40 to 45 mile an hour winds in those purple shaded areas. It's been very gusty. Um, it looks like we'll see that again for tomorrow. We also have a blowing dust advisory here for the eastern plains until 6 o'clock tonight. Wind advisory until 7 for southwestern Colorado. And in an extended look, we have a freeze watch for northwestern Colorado from Monday night into Tuesday morning. As for our satellite radar picture, a few isolated showers out through western Colorado. It's very dry here for the eastern plains, and that will be the case in through the rest of tonight. So we're looking good. Our hourly planner tonight, temperatures in the 70s through by 9 o'clock, and then we're in the 60s after that with mostly clear skies. Temperatures in the 50s overnight. We'll have 30s up toward Leadville and Steamboat, 40s and 50s near Dur Durango and Cortez. Temperatures in the low to mid 50s here for our area by tomorrow morning. If you're an early riser, temperatures in the 50s here from Fort Morgan to Sterling and highs again tomorrow in the 80s. Like I said, though, this is our last warm day before things really cool down going into Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures in the 80s, uh, some 70s as well for the I-25 corridor. We'll have 80s here for the eastern plains, 50s and 60s for the high country. As for our hourly planner tomorrow, sunny skies for the day. We'll have temperatures in the upper 70s as we get toward 2 and 3 o'clock as those winds start to pick up again. And we'll have sunny skies, mild and breezy for the afternoon. Few sh scattered showers starting to develop. But notice we could see a little light snow here in the highest elevations close to the divide as we get through the next 48 hours. Even just past Idaho Springs late Monday night. I don't think we'll see a whole lot of moisture here in Denver until we get to Tuesday and this cold front pushes across the state, brings in the cooler air and brings in some scattered showers as well. Even some light snow for the higher elevations. As for our temperatures here on Monday, 82 degrees for a high 69 with showers and cooler air into the afternoon and evening. We'll see a chance for those showers here late in the day, 60s in through Thursday and Friday and 70s over the weekend. All right, thank you.